It's no secret that a lot of us are completely oblivious to the subtle flirting signs and signals women send our way when they're attracted. In this video we won't get into whether it's due to their stealth flirting styles, or to her oblivious she didn't salivate, and shout I want you approach, but we will however shine some light on another related and equally as important topic. What attracts women to men at first sight? Now that's a big one. But really, do you know what attracts women to men, when they first notice us? A lot of us tend to apply our own philosophy and list things such as abs, biceps, or we take another route, and say car, a full wallet, etc. The harsh reality is, we don't understand women at all, and that only becomes obvious once you've done some research about what they're actually interested in. Some of these can come as a surprise, so let's dive right in. Fragrance We all know that a great fragrance is one of the most powerful tools a man should have in his arsenal, but exactly how high is it on the list of stuff that attracts women to men? It's no secret that even strangers appreciate when they walk past someone who smells fantastic, but the importance of being a good smelling man becomes even more emphasized when it comes to attraction. Women love when a man smells good. They want you to smell good. Ask any woman you know when she sees a man and she kind of thinks he's cute, if he smells amazing, how will she feel about him? Your fragrance is an integral part of the first impression you leave upon meeting someone for the first time. Given the fact that pleasant smells alone have the power to make any experience more pleasurable and create a positive connotation in your brain. Trust me, a good cologne makes a huge difference. Body language and confidence. Body language has the strange power to subconsciously communicate to others how we perceive ourselves. Do you think you're better than other people? It'll show on your face. If you're rude to the people you interact with, it will tell her all she needs to know. Constantly looking down, for example, communicates that you're extremely insecure, and that you'd rather be anywhere else than right there, and that's not a trait of a man who can make your knees weak. Women want to see a man who's confident and open to new experiences, they want your body language to be open and inviting. The last eyes they want to see on a man they find attractive are signs of an insecure douch bag. And trust me, they can scan you within seconds. No matter how complex body language can get, evolution has made sure that we're blazingly efficient in deciphering it, and I think that men are still centuries behind women in that department. They're very good at deciding whether or not they want to engage in any form of contact with you, by just giving you a glance. And even though it can be a tough situation for a lot of us, working on developing ourselves is our best bet. The confident man, who knows his worth, won't have to study positive body language. His confidence and a positive self-image will make it second nature. Don't spend much time thinking about body language itself, it's way too complex. Work on your confidence, work on being the best you can be, and strong body language will just happen. Evolution has already made sure of it. Hair Yeah, women notice it when a guy has a good hairstyle. From what I've heard, they mostly care about how well managed your hair is. They don't care much about the haircut itself unless it's something that makes you look stupid of course. Any normal haircut that is appropriate for a grown man will do, as long as it's well kempt and looks good on you. The haircut itself is for you to choose, of course. It depends a lot on your style, culture, and preference, but if you choose a nice hairstyle that complements your lifestyle and you keep it fresh and clean, that quick glance you way will leave her thinking you're a piece of eye candy. So, develop a good hair care regime, keep good care of those shiny locks, and everything will be just fine. Shoes Yup. Shoes are one of the first things ladies notice about us, gentlemen. Surprise. They have the potential to reveal a lot about us. How much attention we pay to looking good, how much money we earn, how clean we are. They can see all that by just taking a quick glance. A man who cares about the way he looks will never wear dirty shoes. If he's good earner chances are he'll have a nice pair of shoes. The same philosophy we discussed above regarding hairstyles applies here. The state in which you keep your shoes is much more important than the style of the price tag. So, gentlemen, keep those shoes clean and shining, ladies are watching. Smile Well, let me tell you, ladies don't actually want you to have fake teeth. Nor does it mean that only those who get implants have a nice smile. When a woman takes that quick glance, which usually happens when your eyes travel from her knees to her breast, she wishes to see a man with nice teeth. They don't have to be sparkly white and laser cut same, they have to be clean, though. Visiting the dentist regularly, brushing your teeth, flossing, and making sure that your smile looks nice and healthy is pretty much all you have to do. That's all it takes to have healthy teeth. And that's what ladies want to see. A healthy smile, well taken care of. Style The nightmare of men of all ages. Anything that involves colors and color matching. If I say turquoise or teal, which color am I talking about? You have no freaking idea, right? Most of us are terrible when it comes to matching colors and making different pieces of clothing complement each other, but there's a silver lining. 
Most men's clothes come in just a few colors. The only thing we need to do is to make it look good. So, educate yourself, work on expanding your wardrobe, make sure that all the pieces in it complement each other, make sure that your outfits don't look randomly generated, put in some effort. Hands When I was a teenager, my first girlfriend said to me you have very beautiful hands. My reply was well, I'm a volleyball player. Lame, I know, but that's not the only time I received that particular compliment. But every time I got it, it left me wondering. Why on earth would women pay so much attention to my hands? Years have taught me that what attracts women to men has nothing to do with the way men perceive the world. Why? I have no idea. But one thing is certain. A lot of women look at your hands. So, keeping the nails trimmed, keeping your hands nice and soft, wouldn't be a bad thing to do regularly. Voice A deep voice is in direct correlation with the amount of testosterone in your body. So, women are inclined to perceive men with deeper voices as more masculine, and therefore more desirable. But it goes even further than that. The tone of your voice is not the only thing important when it comes to what attracts women to men. They care a lot more about what do you actually say once you engage that sexy baritone. If you have a deep, sexy voice and you use it to speak about some lame stuff, she has zero interest in why. Keep the conversation interesting, be funny, throw in some innuendos here and there. Work on your conversation skills, work on learning new things, so that you'll have a lot of conversation topics at hand, and make sure that what you actually say has the power to intrigue, and you'll be making her breakfast pretty soon face. Not a lot of us are blessed with the perfect bone structure, but all isn't lost, my friend. Women actually care a lot more about how well kept your skin is, much more so than whether you have a chin dimple or not. Having a proper skincare routine is all you have to do. Making sure to eliminate dry, flaky skin or oily t-zone is pretty much it. If you wear a beard, keep it nice and trimmed, and that's it. Takeaway. If you haven't realized yet, they don't want us to be perfect, male model, Brad Pitt type of guys. Ladies want us to take care of ourselves. They want to see a man who knows his worth, a man who accepts himself for what he is, a man who cares about the way he sees the world, and about the way the world sees him. They don't want you to be perfect, they only want you to take the matter into your own hands, to work with what you have, and make it work for you. What attracts women to men doesn't have anything to do with the things you don't have. Everything they want to see you already possess. The only question is, whether or not you're using it to your advantage. So, be smart. The ladies are watching.